that's usually the deal when you play against really good teams. Uh, if you're going to need a lot of contributions, you're going to have to have, you know, basically your entire rotation putting their fingerprints on a game uh, to impact the win. And that's what you saw tonight. Uh, Tyler was out, so different guys had to step up. If we didn't have Duncan making those those plays, and then Max, you know, giving us some really uh, quality minutes. Uh, Kyle and, and Jimmy wouldn't have had that opportunity to close it out for us uh, going down the stretch. You add a player of Lowry and DeRozan's status, what it does is it alleviates the responsibility on the plates of guys like Jimmy Butler and Zach Levine. I think their impact on both those superstars has been undeniable. been in Chicago since their Wednesday night setback in Minnesota. Let's see how it starts. Lonzo Ball on Lowry who gets through and two. Oh, there's Lowry with a takeaway. It's a three on one break. Lowry gets through and gets another two. Here comes Lowry, splits the seam. Look out below. Bam out of bio with a crusher. Butler gets it in the bank. Look out! Bam again! A second crusher in a row for out of bio off a loose ball pickup. Uh, that rolls in for two for out of bio and the heat. Vincent in the butler guarded by Kobe White. They go chest to chase. Jimmy's turnaround on the money. As it so often is, Butler shooting 53% this year. Body and the butler leaned into him on the catch. No help coming. Jimmy Butler into the lane. He wants to kick and will do so to the corner. And Miami gets a catch and shoot three for Martin. As Robinson splashes down his second three of the game. If you let him get on track, this could be his game. Miami is up there every season in taking charges. They're one of the best at rotating and getting over and taking charge. You see Dead Man right there comes over and takes a charge. Robinson only his 28th two-point attempt of the year. Struce with a right-handed jam off a baseline drive. Uh -huh. This from the corner is Max Struce burying a three. He has seven. Bam is going to mismatch against Ball. Finds the open cutter and Vincent. Pitch and catch, Jimmy Butler on the receiving end. DeRozan stopped short by Struess, good defense. He stayed down on two pump fakes and Butler comes up with a steal. The 12th Chicago turnover. 
Here comes Truce rolling through for the score. Butler probing, pulling up, and sticking. Robinson flares it up for two. He's the first in double figures tonight. Duncan for three. Kaboom. Off a bam pitch. Duncan Robinson triples for the third time tonight. Lead the challenge and Adebayo starts it. Butler knows it. There's Robinson. He got it off and he knocked it down. A home run just as the shot clock was evaporated. Lowry dives on the kick for Tucker. Stalking the mid-range, too. And Butler back tapped it. There's Jimmy, getting into a spot where he's very comfortable using the glass. There's only one Gabe Benson. Uh, I could only be myself and try to make plays to help my team win. Loose ball rebound, allow it. Vincent for three, kaboom. Vincent, wide open three, kaboom. Gabe Vincent, back-to-back -back triples for the third-year man from Modesto, California. Plenty of fight left. Gabe Vincent, long three. Vincent, he has tripled three times here in the fourth quarter. Eight on the shot clock for the Heat. Lowry for three. Kaboom. Kyle Lowry, his first triple tonight. He has 11 points. Lowry guarded by Caruso. Another three. Two in a row for Kyle Lowry, both from downtown on the Heat now, ahead by seven. You see Miami bringing in Jimmy, who's their closer, to help Kyle Lowry, who's got it going now. Vincent. Ball dislodged and taken away by Butler. Vincent, he's wide open. He got it! Four triples in the quarter. A 14-point fourth quarter for Gabe Vincent. Lowry triples! Off of Vincent assists, Kyle Lowry has three trades here in the fourth quarter. Three on the shot clock, Butler's one-hander is right on the money. Butler gets by ball, puts it down. Jimmy Butler had not scored in the fourth quarter until the last two sequences. Two huge baskets. Create more space. Now Butler runs to the backcourt. Ball goes into Vincent. Back to Lowry. What a brilliant setup by Eric Spolstra and his coaching staff. They spread the balls out and then cut right down the middle. Heat lead by five. 20 seconds left. What a play that was. Ball for Jones Jr. Stolen by Butler. The 23rd turnover of the game for Chicago. And John, this is a coach's moment for Eric Spolstra and the Miami Heat. They had a timeout, they set up their inbounds play, and it worked to perfection. Now more often than not, the inbounds guy is the most dangerous. They help off, try to face guard, really poor uh, defense, and what a breakdown on the, on the Bulls' side. The Heat come from behind in the fourth quarter and win. Miami was down by six with 11 minutes left in the game. That's when Gabe Vincent, Kyle Lowry, and Jimmy Butler took the game over and put it on ice. The Heat move in a sole possession of second place in the East. They're 13 and seven.